guys, four seam fastball. Okay, a couple important keys on this pitch. We got that seam. We want to make sure that the seam is on our fingertips. Okay, we want that to use that seam to pull down off of to get truer, straighter flight. Okay, a lot of times I'll see a kid, their fingers will be up here and have the seam go in the middle of their fingers. Okay, we're not really getting much, anything to pull off of if, if we have the ball like that in our hand. Okay, whenever we're playing catch, long toss. Okay, use that four seamer, especially at the young age. Okay, a four seamer compared to a two seam fastball. Four seamer is straighter. Okay, a lot. Of, all of us will have better command with the four seamer. Okay, when you're playing long toss, use the four seamer. It has a lot better carry. If our partner's out there 200, 250 feet, and we're throwing a two seamer, okay, it will tend to fade. It won't be straight, and we'll have the carry like the four seam fastball will. Okay. Another important thing on this pitch: make sure that the thumb underneath it is in between where our fingers are on the ball. Okay. A lot of times kids will have it up here on the side. Okay. All that's doing is putting more friction on the ball. Okay. With that much friction, it's going to take away from speed. It's going to be harder to control all the good stuff. Okay. Keep your thumb underneath the ball to get the backspin. Okay. This is Baseball Dude's video. Forcing fastball instructional tip.